a tutorial on my favorite Rihanna Where Have You Been makeup look. It's the red one. Where Have You Been has been my favorite song ever since the album of Rihanna came out. I have been obsessed with it and I love, I love that somewhere in the, and then your face was like, crap. Oh, my stepdad and my best friend's dad. They're like changing a window or something or something I totally don't get with my blonde hair. It's gonna be a little bit noisy now and then. If you wanna know how to do this Rihanna Where Have You Been red makeup look, then please keep on watching. So the first thing you want to do as always is apply a base to your eyelids to prevent this eyeshadow from creasing and the one I'm using is MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. The first eyeshadow I will be using is Max Cork, and I know I'm using this way too much in my videos. And what you're gonna do with that is just bring a little bit of definition into the crease. Because once we add the red and stuff, it can look really flat, and you want to bring some depth into, de not depth, depth in that crease. And then at this outer point right here, kind of wing it out and go back in. As a base for my red eyeshadow, I'm going to apply a water activated sort of paint on my eyelid. This is Fizzign Pro Extreme Color Art in Passionate Red. And with that paint, you're going to make your basic shape for the red. And we're going to start off all the way at the inner corner, going into the crease. And you want to be really, really delicate with this, because if you mess up, you will look like Batman gone wrong. No, not Batman, Spider-Man. And then work your way up to the middle of the crease and add the lid with it as well. And you want to make sure that this is a straight line. You don't want that to be all wobbly and ugly. When you're coming near like the outer third, you're gonna wing it and then make the bottom blend up towards to that. You're gonna blend the edges a bit to make them a bit softer. For my red eyeshadow, I will be using Sugar Pills Love Plus. And just go over the red paint with that. Just set it. Now to start off for the black, I'm gonna use Mystery and Spiced Chocolate. And um, I'm starting off with brown to uh, sort of map out my shape and then go back over with black. So that is just going onto the lower lid. Then from the outer point, I'm going up. From that point, go back into the red. And I fill up that gab and then start blending into the red. I'm gonna take a matte black eyeshadow, Carbon by MAC for me, and I'm gonna go and smoke that along my upper lash line. Not too harsh, because you don't want to take away the power of that red, because that is really like the showpiece of the look. I'm gonna take Cork by MAC again. And I'm sort of gonna play with this crease because right now anyone could tell that this is way too harsh and you want it to be sort of soft but harsh. So just keep blending those edges and make it look soft and harsh at the same time. Now I'm going to take MAC Sweet Chestnut Eyeshadow. Now this is a limited edition one, so if you don't have this, a really close one is Makeup Geek's Burlesque. And I'm applying that to like the middle, closer to the lashes and then going into the brown. So not really disturbing the red, but more like in the middle and then going out. Now I'm going to repack that Red Love Plus by Sugar Pill on because the red has to be the showpiece of the look, so make it pop. Ooh, I feel like a goth Spider-Man. I'm gonna go back with my black and make my lash line a little bit more smoky. I'm gonna take Urban Decay's 24-7 Glide on Pencil in Zero. That is going on to the waterline. Make it black as you can. And then for this inner corner, make a point like that. 
Now I'm going to take my carbon emissary and from that point drag it along the lower lash line. And now with carbon really make that lower lid smoky and Arabic inspired or Arabian inspired. Now once you feel like this is too thick just take a concealer brush with some concealer on it and just kind of make it smaller. Now Rihanna was wearing a really nice inner corner silver highlight and my favorite for that is Makeup Studios Shine in Jewel Effects. Um, so I'm going to pop that right, right, right here. That gap between the liner and the red right there. Because it's pretty as hell. And then kind of blend it up towards the crease. Oh, it's so badass, awesome, prettiness, gorgeousness, ugh. So now I'm going to apply some mascara, which is my favorite mascara by Makeup Studio Waterproof 3D Extra Block. Okay, now for your brows, now kind of do them how you normally do them, just make them a lot darker and bushy. So for me, they are darker plus bushier. And for the, like the three strands that come out, um, I'm going to use Mystery Eyeshadow and make it a little bit lighter with cork and just add three strands on like the beginning of your brow and make them go out as hell. Like stripes. One. Two, three. <laughs> it's that simple. <laughs> now for cheeks, you want to be bronzed as hell. So first, I'm going to contour it with, with Sculpt Powder by Mac. And then also your temples. You want to be really, really bronzed for this look. And then I'm going to take a bit of Max Refined Golden Bronzer and bronze up that skin even more. And then you also want to be super glowy for this look. So I'm going to take my favorite Whisper of Guilt Extra Dimension Skin Finish by MAC again. And just highlight the crap out of your face. And for lips, you just want to be really, really nude, so I'm just going to take some of my Lip Erase and blot that on top. And then for a lipstick, I'm using my favorite Flash Pot lipstick. And I like to blend that in with my finger. So, yeah guys, that completes this Rihanna Where Have You Been, my favorite red look of the video um, inspired tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. For a full list, go to my website, NikkiTutorials.com. And please, if you want, follow me on Twitter and like my official Facebook page, which are Nikki Tutorials as well. Uh, but anyways, that is this Rihanna look. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and hopefully I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys, I love you.